Welcome back, friends who are surviving the daily. I hope everyone is surviving well. So, as you can see, I have a Gerber recoil that I purchased probably about 20 years ago. I bought it, I believe, from Walmart for approximately $40 or $50. I did look that up to see how much they were going for around that time. And it got a lot of use. And I had no complaints about it at the time. And, uh, but as you can see, that it eventually did fail right there. There is a pivot point that looks like that that is missing. And uh, so, therefore, I just put it away and didn't think about it for many, many years until I actually started this channel. And I pulled it out. And I decided I was going to do uh, the warranty process on it and report back to you on how well that goes. So, about two months ago, I had contacted Gerber and went through the appropriate warranty process. You go onto their website, you send them a few pictures and uh, describe the issue you're having and, uh, you know, send it on in. They immediately send a, an automatic response saying that they got your warranty claim and they are backed up uh, about three to four weeks on their warranty claims and they will get back to you. So that was about two months ago. As if you can do the math, that was a long past three to four months uh we're going on probably about nine months or i'm sorry nine weeks now but we eventually did get the replacement in the mail uh, uh they did not send new parts because this right here has been discontinued a long time ago so i'm curious on what to exp what we're going to see inside now i do have a gerber suspension already and i have a funny feeling that's what they replaced it with but I'm going to open it up and see what the replacement is. Break out a knife to do this. And it is not a Gerber suspension. It is a Gerber diesel. I'm not quite sure what the value of that is. But this is built in the USA just like the recoil. Uh, unlike the suspension that's pretty awesome I'm not even sure I've even heard of the diesel but uh, with all their faults Gerber actually came through with an awesome replacement I'm very pleased now I'm gonna open it up and check it out Careful not to cut myself on camera. That is pretty awesome. Built in the USA. I imagine probably not from USA source materials, but that's okay. Let's see what else we got here. We got the inside opening tools, and they are locking. Now, I am very curious on what the value of this is. But. So there you have it. That is the Gerber warranty process at this point in time. Replace one for the other. So they do honor their warranty. It may take longer than they claim, but uh, pretty pretty satisfied with the, with the replacement. It does come with a very large sheath. But... Uh, Oh, wait a minute. I am completely wrong. It says made in China. It says right on the back. US, it says on front USA built with global parts. But on the back it says made in China. Oh, you figure that out. Um, assembled in the USA. Jaw made in Taiwan. Sheath and saw made in China. Okay, that makes more sense. Better, better off reading the packaging before you go shoot your mouth off apparently <laughs> but anyways if you have a broken Gerber tool I definitely suggest going ahead and uh, 
send it in, uh, sending in the warranty process, they will honor it. So that is my video for today. I hope everyone's having a great day. Uh, I appreciate everyone watching, and I hope to see you next time.